It was a French chateau, of course, and uh, they had observed a similar home on the French Riviera. And as a result of that, this home was somewhat of a duplicity, so to speak, uh, of that. So there were some m modifications made, but the authenticity of that was uh, appreciated, so to speak, in what we've carried out inside as far as uh, the interior of it, uh, you know, has been pretty authentic for the most part. Of course, w with the exception of modernization, it doesn't come from the 17th century. The ground, or the original estate grounds, uh, encompassed, uh, uh, I believe, approximately 3.2 acres. Uh, we made an addition to that, uh, an acquisition, uh, approximately 10 years into the project of an adjoining estate, and picked up an additional almost one acre, 0.9, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, we probably have about four acres, realistically. Uh, the, for the estate. Uh, of course the home is approximately 21,000 square feet. We do have a separate maids area. That was what it was always called. It's actually been converted into a pool room, but it is, has a full living environment. We also have an additional living area uh, known as a servants area. That was to be for a house manager. We have uh, uh, approximately uh, 80 tons of air conditioning. <laughs> Yeah, 18 systems. <laughs> and as far as living areas, yes, we do have the uh, studio that, that could become a bedroom. There's an extension from the studio to uh, the, the south of the house that uh, also is, uh, you know, now used as an office that could become a bedroom. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we have the bedroom upstairs. We also have a sitting room that is upstairs. So there's a number of rooms. I came to Tulsa because an oil company, by LBO Oil, had extra cash money and was doing well, so it decided to get in the cable business. And most specifically, it decided to wire Tulsa. And they needed somebody to handle their microwave, because what I did by satellite, a lot of companies were doing via microwave. But that's the hard way. Every 25 miles, you had to build a tower. <laughs> and you'd build them town by town. So if every town in, in the domino approach of towers from Dallas to Tulsa would buy, let us build a microwave ta tower there, we'd finally get the signal up to Tulsa without it costing much. So I sort of came aboard to Tulsa to work for that company, at first as a consultant, and then they wanted me to be president of the company. So the, uh, that's what got us to Tulsa. It's hard to figure out, you know, what a house like this really worth. Uh, the insurance company wants to say that replacing it today if it burned down is a $15 million bill, so they want me to pay insurance on 15. And the tax people tax it at five. Uh, but that's a funny thing, Oklahoma tax law. So it's not, that's not a, neither one of them are good numbers. Uh, we put it on the market at 12 and we're remarketing now in the sevens and eights as a hopeful estimate. The lady of the house in a French house of this era, that would be her portrait. Uh, Nancy got sick, uh, very sick in the 87 time period, uh, and was sick and lasted all the way to 2007 with the disease. Uh, and we kept waiting for her to feel good and have a day. She bought a dress and it's a dress. <laughs> it's very expensive that she would have worn for me in that portrait. And we, once she was sick and I knew she wasn't gonna move in, we figured that just leave it that way and the new owner would probably wanna do that. Or he could go buy a painting and stick it in there. Once we started the house, it was part of the idea with the company uh, we had, with that extra network, the international network we were doing, we had all kinds of prestigious guests uh, coming in and didn't have a good place to entertain them. Uh, some of the people we talked to about shows were like Dinah Shore would be one. And so we, I kind of let Nancy go and built the house of her dream. And, uh, I was spending a lot of money building the company so I could let her spend the, what she wanted to do, her half of it, her way if you want. So she was building it for years and then the sickness got in the way and early on we decided that as well as uh, 
finishing the house off, it was important for her to see the rest of the world because we could tell her house, her health was going downhill. So from 87 to 97, we more or less traveled and redid a few things in the house, but she wasn't really well enough to make the big move over. Soon after that, she became so ill that I wasn't going to tell her, but she wasn't going to move there probably ever.